at Gettysburg. The one I love stands at the edge of a wheat field wearing a blue cap, holding a plastic musket in his hands. The one I love does a goofy dance at Devil's Den, mans a cannon, waves at me from a hill. He dips his foot into bloody run. The sepia dream of his dead body is pulled by the water over the rocks. And I am the shadow of a stranger taking his picture, laid out like so much black drapery on the pavement. Is there some better explanation? Was there some other mossy, meandering path we might have taken to this place through time and space? Why is it that where my heart should be, there's a small, bright horse instead? While I was simply standing over there by a stone, waiting, did an old woman run her bony hand through my hair and leave this gray ribbon there? The one I love leans up against a fence and then pretends to be shot. He opens his eyes wide and grabs his chest, stumbles backwards, falls gracefully into the grass where he lies for a long time holding the sun in his arms. I take another picture there. The worms beneath him make the burden of the earth seem light enough to bear. And still, inside me, I believe I carry the pond where the injured swans have come to flock. I believe I hold inside me the lake into which the beautiful, armless mortals wish to wade. I am, after all, their executioner and their creator, being as I am their mother. Were they gods who came to earth to die and suffer, I wonder, or boys who turned who, or boys who died and turned to gods? The one I love needs sunblock, I think, too late, and perhaps a bottle of water, but now I have no idea where we are. Where were you, God asks, when I spread out the heavens and the earth? If you were not there then, how can you expect to know where you are now? Truly, I don't know. I look around. I say we're lost to the one I love, who looks over my shoulder and laughs. No, Mom, he says, and points to the dot and arrow of ourselves on the map. You're holding the battlefield upside down. <laughs>